I thought I'd show how to play Ascension. Gotta get my microphone right because I'm gonna be doing all this clicking. Uh, I just jumped into a two man. And. Good example of why Cascade Bluffs is not the best card in the world. This is an absolute mulligan. There are. Like you're drawing to 14 outs to be able to make good mana. That's a keepable hand there. Uh, you'd love to have more than one cantrip. The goal here is just going to be to... Wow, what a bizarre hand. So I think I'm going to just work my way up to turn 3 Compulsive Research. Honestly, this game is not looking very good so far. But I need the red mana. And Research is a fine turn 3 play. Um, there are lots of decks that I do not expect to be winning against at this point, though, already. That's one of them. So, hopefully we don't get turn 2 killed. If we do, though, that's fine. What ends? Um, the Poison matchup, I don't think Poison is very consistent, to be honest. And it's not actually... Huh. wonder if he, like, can't afford Dragonstorm. It's not actually much faster than you, either. Ascension can kill turn 3 fairly often. That said, I don't think it's a great matchup. I have snapbacks in the board for exactly this matchup. This and the twin. And I also switched to two Pestermite over uh, the third Exarch because it can block Nexus, which I'm intending on doing. So, usually to make room for sideboard cards, I'm boarding out the rituals in the deck, and sometimes the fifth blue cantrip. Those are the the cards that can sort of come out. The compulsive research, I think, is just too slow, and it's not necessary as a win condition. And Dream's Grip... Oh, it's just sort of unlikely that Dream's Grip is good here. You can't counter their shoal with Dream's Grip. You can time walk them, but you have to kill them next turn, and considering how watered down the deck is, I'm not sure how useful it's going to be. Sleight of hand might be better to ensure that we can actually combo off. I really like Dream Script though. Um, I think it should be okay. Here we go. So, life total is completely irrelevant in this matchup. So we're just leading with untapped steam vents and preordaining. Shoot, that was wrong already. I'm gonna keep the lightning bolt. I actually prefer ponder there. The reason is that if I ponder next turn and have to shuffle, the card that I just scribed to the bottom is going to be shuffled back in my deck. So he plays for Inkloth Nexus. The chance of him having it dead in his starting hand is around 40%. Let's see, this is... So Ponder first would have been better. Just slightly. So yeah, he has a 40% chance to get that in his hand. And he's going to see that I have a decent amount of stuff to stop him here. Hopefully not just kill me. Gitoxian Probe is such a good card in this matchup on either side of the table. So this turn I think I'm just going to leave up 3 mana and go for Pestermite. 
at the end of his turn, assuming I'm still alive. Then I'm just going to be leaving Pestermite back to block a lot. What are we doing? Transmuting for... why is that green? It's really odd. Another option, I guess, is to main phase Pestermite, untap the land, and go for Serum Visions. Uh, problem is that I lose to any sort of creature removal he has, but he probably has none. Um, so maybe I prefer that play in retrospect, because I'm just wasting him out of there. Anyway, now we sort of expect to play control. Noxious Revival is great here, because with Metamorphos in hand, I can use it to cast two Lightning Bolts in turn. See what he's got. <laughs> So he has the shoal, he has no way to remove Pestermite, but he's got double counterspell back up next turn. So I won't be attacking, that's for sure. And it's just going to be a matter of defending Pestermite and hoping that he doesn't draw a second Nexus. If he draws a, a creature, in fact creature, It'll be easy enough to kill with Lightning Bolt, I expect. So he is playing Snapback. I <laughs> I'm not sure that I understand that. Did he not see that I was Ascension Game 1? I guess he didn't, huh? That's really unfortunate. But... A lot of action here in our head. Um, we're doing nothing to kill him at all. Makes me sort of want to start attacking. Gets me there in nine turns. He's already holding the snapback, so can't rely on the pestermite actually blocking. He has a muddle. A one casting cost. Shoal. Cast the two casting cost for snapback. Should have written down what he had in hand. I didn't do that because I'm playing. I don't know, it's a difficult spot. Nine turns, huh? It seems optimistic, but I think we're gonna go for it. There are a billion things you can draw here, and I would be dead. But, duh. Like, obviously that's the case. So he shows. Responding, so I'm going to bolt it. So he still has muddle. Which is probably going to come out here. And then perhaps I lose to pack. Was snapback. I assume that he has no blue cards to go with snapback, which is a pretty good spot for me. 
because I assumed that he would have saved his dude if he did. I feel like an idiot from a dream script. This is not a good hand for dream dream script. Like the way this this game has played out. It's not a game that I want dream script in my deck for. And he has seven turns left to live. We have snapback, we have boomerang. It's a lot of ways to stop his combo a second time. Alright, Blighted Agent is not quite what I wanted to see. Um, I guess it's fine. What else? Still willing, winning the race, and I'm pretty confident that I can keep the Blazing Shoal off this creature. That's no good. How lucky. for it. So, do I want to use Snapback or Boomerang here? His hand is just his Snapback at this point. Snapback, Boomerang. It seems unlikely to make a difference, to be honest. I'm going to use Boomerang because uh, I may at some point want to tap a ton of mana, and then I'll have Snap back up at the end. So, at this point I can kill him next turn. Assuming that I draw a Preordain. If I draw Preordain, I think I have, like, a good chance to kill him next turn. Apparently we're just gonna race. I do win this race. Serum Visions, that... It's a little less likely to kill him this turn because I don't get to see what card comes off it, but still a good chance. Metal Noxious. Okay, so we're gonna wait one more turn, it looks like. Um, do I hold back Pester right now because of that? I don't think so. It's plausible that I can just kill him without actually going infinite here. Like, well. Yeah, I can just Noxious back Lightning Bolt, in fact. Hit him twice. So, he's holding Snapback and something. I would rather not get completely blown out here. But... I just can't think of anything that makes that play bad. So, yeah. What I'm going to do is transmute muddle, not tapping the cascade buff straight away. I'm going to grab a monomorphos. I'm going to get back lightning bolt. And I'm going to uh, cast Metamorphos, and then he's going to die. It's the big plan right now. Metal can transmute. Ooh. So we are hard casting Disrupting Shoal. Okay, that's fine, but I still kill you. Just snap back in hand. Okay. 
hit F7. So I guess at this point we're going off. I do not want to draw another ascension right now, I don't think. Do I? Can I get it down? The question is always just whether you have time to get it down while you're comboing. I don't think I do. Um, given that I was drawing blind, maybe it's actually good to take it there, because I could draw land instead. Makes it a little bit better. This is actually the only place that life matters in this matchup, because I could theoretically kill myself here. Uh, he was not dead yet. Yeah, I was fizzling there, probably. Decent chance. But I was fizzling in a good enough way to win the game next turn anyway. So, given how that all looked, I think I'd rather have Sleight of Hand and Dream Grip. I'm going to be on the draw this game makes things a bit hairier. But like, Dream's Grip is only good if I get an absurdly good combo hand. And with the deck so watered down, it's a lot less likely that that happens. If I was playing against Splinter Twin and I wasn't boarding in a ton of chaff cards, well, I sort of board it in the same cards against Splinter Time. Everything I say is a lie. Ah, uh, looks like a pretty good hand to me. He went to six and leads with Clef Nexus. Yeah, I saw that coming. So, I mean, Noctis Revival over land here seems pretty easy. Hopefully we don't die this turn. Alright. Seems like a good card to have. So... I can hold up Muddle, theoretically. And that stops me dying turn 3 if he has a Shoal and no counter backup. And if he goes for it there, it's actually sort of a blowout. I think the chances of him doing that are just so small that it's better to get the Ascension in play and then start leaving Metal up. So draw a and probe. That would be pretty sweet right now. It's unfortunate that with one ascension in play, I can't double snap back and bounce the spell skite before he can redirect both of them to the spell skite but that's how it works. If I had two ascensions in play, one of the copies wouldn't be on the stack yet when Spellskite got bounced by the first one. So I have to work out here if I can combo next turn after snapping back his Spellskite right now and then not just reviving the snap back back into my hand. There's a non-zero chance I could. I could also transmute metal the mixture for snapback and have two snapbacks up. Um, either of those plays still loses two shoal plus one counter spell. And I can I can play in I can play to lose to show and one counter spell just by leading model up this turn, so I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, the other question is which cantrip 
is more likely to... So I need to find monomorphos here, or I need to find monomorphos. I'm really looking for monomorphos, because I can noxious, getting back anything, then noxious to noxious, go to my draw step, and noxious to noxious again. And that gets me to an active ascension. I should do that now, come to think of it. Yeah, I'm going to do that now. This way, my model is going to double, and that's going to make it pretty damn tough for him to kill me. I'm going to ponder, since I know the top card is something I want to draw. I don't want to waste the scry. And now I'm just going to pass the turn. There's no reason to turn the Ascension on without needing to. Like, it just wastes a revival is the problem. At this point, I have an instant speed active Ascension, and I have Muddle up. And this deck is hard to play, man. Okay, so, like, he's putting me on a tiny clock, I guess. But not really getting anywhere. Do I want to activate it now? And draw a ponder? I had a visions on top as my last card, I think. I just pondered. I had something that I wanted to draw, so I'm just gonna sleight of hand. Go ahead and draw that. I'm going to grab my Revival. Back again. And I'm going to start drawing tons of cards. The reason I didn't sleight of hand that time was that I remembered from Ponder that the next card was once again something I wanted to draw. And sleight of hand, you only get to draw one of them. That can be pretty embarrassing if you're, like, stacking the top of your deck with four Monomorphos, and then you use sleight of hand to draw them. But at that point, uh, you've already won the game. So yeah, just leaving Muddle up, and should be totally fine here. He's going to grab another Ink Moth Nexus. Now he's going to grab a Pact. Alright, well, I'm not too worried. Maybe I should be. We survived that round. Okay, so... I could always draw the muddle again in my draw step. I have enough cantrips, though, that if I do end up deciding it's safer not to try to kill him this turn, I can um, always grab the muddle and pass with two up again. He ends up scooping, which usually I would appreciate, but I sort of wanted to show you guys the deck actually going off at some point in that match. Uh, I thought it was a really complicated and difficult match. My turn 3 play this game took me quite a long time to see. Uh, it's just 
I, I activate Ascension with Noxious, Noxious Revival all the time in order to go off, but it's very unusual for me to activate it in order to have double muddle up. That's the first time I've ever done it. Okay, well, it's a fun matchup, and I'm gonna go on and do another one. 